I am the world's worst hitman, ladies and gentlemen. Hi yo everyone, this is Icicle Ferret, and I'm back for another game of Hitman. So today we are tackling the Sapienza level, which, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the best, or at least one of the favorite levels of other Hitman players here in this game. It's, it's a very... A very large level and it has some very nice uh, what's the word I'm looking for oh well the graphics are beautiful for one but it also has a lot of distinction between the areas everything doesn't look the same so you know when you're moving from out here to inside to, you know you get closer to the beach and then there's of course the underground lab area and every area has its own feel and it's all very unique Whoops! Opportunity. Let's see what this Rocco. is. Rocco, Rocco. Man, all this here is just temporary. Well, that guy's high. Look, we're thinking big's gotten you. We're gonna break our mother's heart. I could track this opportunity. Now I know where this opportunity leads because I've seen other people play it. Okay. You get the option to poison. What's his name? Caruso? I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I'll just want to run around and see how beautiful this place is. I mean, I'm in friggin' Italy. Anyway. I bet if I go through that door, yeah. If I go through that door, it'll be... Out of, out of, uh, what's the word? Trespassing. Yeah, I'll be trespassing. So, yeah, I've got to kill Caruso, I've got to kill, what's her name, the lady who could take over in his place. And the interesting thing about this, story-wise anyway, um, Caruso's trying to invent a virus that is DNA targeted. So you can program the virus to kill just one person, or to kill people who are just carrying a certain DNA uh, strand. So, I mean, yeah, technically you could create it to kill everyone who has blue eyes, for example. Or you can kill it, you know, program it to kill everyone who has a very specific genome code, which would just be one person or, you know, maybe maybe two people, because one guy's just unlucky enough to be too genetically similar. Oh, look, How it's a mime. You, anyway, and the reason we want to stop this is not because of the, you know, potential for catastrophe. Like I said, they could kill everyone with blue eyes if they wanted to. There, you know, or they could kill every man in the world if they wanted to. Hey, look, sanguine. <laughs> That's a cute touch. Anyway. The reason we want to stop that is because it's a threat to our business. We're in the business of assassination. Well, they look closed. <laughs> if I had the lockpick, I could get in there. But I did not bring the lockpick. Yeah, the reason we want to stop them is not because we're against it morally or ethically, it's because it's a threat to our business. Because we are in the business of assassination. And imagine if somebody had the power to just assassinate whoever they wanted with a single virus. They could disguise it literally as the common cold. Then it would kill their target. So the reason we want to stop this is because it's a threat to our business. Now, yeah, obviously there's... Supposedly, there's somebody who's paying us for this job, and someone who works inside the... I forgot the name of the company already. But this Caruso guy, he works for this one company that does these bioengineering things. And someone inside the company wants to stop it, on ethical grounds. But we want to stop it because we're eliminating the competition, and I just think that's hilarious. But wow. I mean, look at, look at how beautiful this place is. Look at how absolutely gorgeous it is. I'm walking around talking, not even doing the mission, and I'm totally enjoying myself because of all the character that they have here. One of the lab coats? Jeez, I thought that lot was wow. I mean, look, look, there's even like laundry, and someone has a basket up there. Just the level of detail that goes into this, these hitman surroundings. Oh, I can mess with that. Create an oil leak. Okay, well, I, I don't want to kill any just random person, but yeah. But the level of detail that goes into a lot of these hitman levels is just phenomenal. I mean, even the NPCs, I don't think there are two NPCs that wear the same clothing. This is just amazing. What's in there? Just an alleyway? 
Okay, I should probably head towards my target and at least at least put on some pretense of getting on with this. Pick up coin. Yes, I will. Now I have four coins. Yeah. Here's another opportunity. That guy's gonna notice me for some reason. I'm just gonna keep walking. Yes, hello. I'd like to pick because he's asleep. All right, I know I've I've gone and gotten myself lost. In true fashion of walking around a European city, I have gotten lost. I mean, eventually I'll get back to where I need to go, right? There, I think this is roughly it. Yep, that's the that's the mansion where Caruso is. Look at these water effects. Look at these water effects. Oh. Wonder how they did that. Fun fact, water is one of the hardest things to simulate in computer graphics. Yeah. Um Let's see. I don't think I can get in through the front door, so I'm probably going to have to nick somebody's costume. I think there's a flower delivery boy over here I can mug. This guy's going to have a terrible day. Yeah, I would like to track this opportunity. Today is the anniversary of Isabella Caruso's death. Silvio Caruso will be visiting her grave and has ordered a fresh bouquet of flowers. His visit would be a good time to catch him alone. That is, provided the flowers ever arrive. Alright, I need flowers. Fine, fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bother. So yeah, did he I hit the bicyclist? Or did he swerve to miss the bicyclist and the bicyclist fell over stop. anyway? Yeah. Hopefully that guy doesn't turn around to see me. You're gonna have a very bad day, guy. Disguise. I don't really want to kill you, but I don't want you being out in the open either. So... Uh, stand up. Oh, no. Stand up. How do I stand up again? There we go. <laughs> I forgot the button to stand up. Okay. Now let's grab some flowers. Ta-da. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. That guy's gonna notice me, but he's worried about the bicyclist. Delivery for, uh, Silvio Caruso. <laughs> Way to act the part. 47. They're probably gonna find my gun, aren't they? This will be over in no time. I forgot to hide my gun. Are you carrying something I should be aware of? Am I? You're under arrest. Put those hands up. <laughs> All right. Well, I forgot to drop my gun. Let us load from a recent save. Yeah, I'm not gonna replay the entire mission. I'm not that silly. So I forgot I was carrying a gun. I'll have to drop that. Alright. Okay. Back here again. I love the autosave feature. That's something that Hitman Absolution did not have. Correct crouch button. Pick up some flowers. Um. Now oh, there's a way to drop this. I forgot which button it was again. There we go. Nobody find that. There we go. You have to remember what buttons do what. It's been a while since I've played this. No. Now that I don't have the gun, I should be able to get through this front door security, no sweat. Flower delivery for uh, Silvio Caruso. 
the room so there we go should just take a minute no need to worry we're the good guys right yeah good guys thank you have a good one sir all right that worked way better this time yeah look at that pretty water Now, do I give the flowers to... Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if I give the flowers to Caruso or if I just put the flowers on the grave. So we're gonna set up my little tracker here. Talk to the mansion's butler. Okay, can do. Oh, look, look. Reusing old assets. That lion statue? That was in the garden of the... Well, we were in Paris last time, right? So that was in the Paris Garden. Now they've reused that asset as a fountain. Which is pretty awesome. You know, it's... It's a way to... Increase the depth of your game. Oh, or the, right, delivery guy. Not depth, but you know what I mean. Increase the, the amount of ambience in your game while minimizing the amount of effort you have to put into it. Flowers. For Mr. Caruso. Ah, excellent. You can leave them on Mrs. Caruso's grave in the garden. Come along, I'll show you the way. Okay. Well, and that answered that question. I'm supposed to put it on the grave. <sighs> Such a devoted son. There is a hilarious way to kill this guy that involves basically pretending that his mother is come back as a ghost. Then you get him in his room alone and he kind of like faints or something. Or passes out, I don't remember exactly, and then you get to snap his neck. That? It's... Is Silvio Caruso. It's hilarious. But it's a lot of work, so I probably won't do that. Nope, somebody found the unconscious delivery boy. Hopefully that doesn't affect me too bad. Why do NPCs walk so slow? Really? I presume it's so that you can catch up to them if you're actually trying to catch them. But if you're trying to follow them... Oh my god, it's such a chore. First world problems, am I right? Forty-seven's dedication to the character. So down the stairs near the cliff, you can't miss it. I will inform Senor Caruso. He will be pleased with that. You know, he knows exactly who this guy's name is, but he's playing the part of delivery man. So he's, you know, when he was up there before, he fumbled with the name. Like he was reading it off of a card. That's that's serious dedication. Good work, forty-seven. It should keep Caruso distracted for a while. Now I just I believe I just have to hide and wait for him to come down here, and then I will assassinate him, and maybe I'll throw him in the wood chipper. They will never find the body. Water effects. Mm. Must be one of them infinity pools up there. Oh, oh, Cruz is coming back. Awesome. There he is. Do I have to talk to him? No, he's asking to be alone. Yes, please be alone while the scary delivery, flower delivery guy glares at you. This is not suspicious at all. Not suspicious at all. Lovely. Leave now. I'm gonna leave. And by leave, I mean I'm gonna walk like five feet behind you, turn around, and come right back. Oh, I have my fiber wire out. Alright. Oh. Bye! Alright! Oh, somebody saw me? How did anybody see me? Let's go. Oh man, who saw me from where? 
Oh, that dude. I didn't even see him over there. Okay. Let us try again. Repetition is very important in Hitman. So now I just gotta wait. Now I know that other guy's there. I didn't realize that other guy was there before. Those dudes. So they're gonna see me if I try and assassinate him here. How do I make them go away? Oh, they're gonna notice me. What? I'm leaving. I just went the wrong way. I think I screwed something up there. No. Hey. All right, let's do it. That was the wrong button. Okay, I'm not sure I'm supposed to take this out, this guy out, without those three people noticing me. And I think triggering that trespassing sequence caused him to skip the whole praying over the grave no. thing, Argue. motion, whatever action. Can I talk to you? No. Sometimes I give you a prompt. So yeah, those three guys are gonna notice me. Yeah, stuck in the tree. If they attack, if I attack him. This is not good. So what on earth are you up to? Oh my god. There's gotta be. There's gotta be some way to kill this guy. Let's try something else. Maybe I'm not supposed to strangle him. Maybe I'm supposed to chuck something on his neck. Or on his head from above. Look at camera. That's gonna record me, isn't it? Come on, Diana, give me a hint. How long do I have to sit here and listen to this guy? To an unlovable child. Yeah, he's got some issues. Okay. Don't come in there before that guy turned around and sees me. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. Okay, well that was a lot of wait, but we, we did it. Apparently I just had to wait for them to not be close to those bags over there. Alright. Let's put away the fiber wire. Alright. Well, I feel stupid now. <laughs> but hey, that's how you learn, right? Also, that camera's probably recorded me. I don't, I don't remember seeing a pop-up, but I wasn't exactly paying attention. All right, now I gotta kill the next person. Es Esther, or whatever her name is. I am, I am so bad at paying attention during the intro sequence. I'm too busy looking at all the pretty graphics. Yeah, that guy's gonna notice me. They're not gonna appreciate a delivery boy. Not today. Walking around in here. Ooh. Shiny car. But yeah, I was talking about the reused assets. These lights, I believe were also in the... the yacht? 
a lot of these little things, a lot of these little set dressings have been reused, and that's totally fine with me. Because it lets them cut down on the man hours needed to make all these levels. And given the other... Um, I can't remember what I was trying to say. Given the complexity of the puzzles that they had to make for, for Hitman, I would rather they spend their man hours on the puzzles, on creating these scenarios and placing the guards and playtesting them, than on creating unique pieces of environment for every single scene. Will I be trespassing if I go through that door? Yes. Okay, here's something. Romance note. Francesca the opportunity. DeSantis is evidently having an affair with Caruso's golf coach, Roberto Vargas. A notorious ladies' man, Vargas has turned DeSantis' bedroom into a candlelit love nest and plans to call on her after his golf lesson with Caruso. Well, she should know better than to mix business with pleasure. Eh, might as well. All right. They're still looking for Caruso. You're not gonna find him. I hit his body in a box that nobody ever thinks of looking in. Oh, hey, there's that infinity pool. Awesome. Okay, I gotta get this guy's clothing somehow. Oh, I better have to poison that glass. Got it. Okay, I can probably poison that glass with something. And then follow him to a bathroom. Now I just gotta find poison. Mr. Delivery Man, move on. Yeah, nobody suspects a thing. Why am I suddenly reminded of Octodad? What I need is rat poison. Oh hey, there's another disguise. Disguise is the housekeeper. Let's try it. Well, they're still gonna notice me. Somebody's gotta keep rat poison down here in a place like this. Ooh, what's that? I bet that's rat poison. Oh. Expired spaghetti sauce. That's not rat poison. I mean, close, but that's not rat poison. Find out more about the golf coach. I'm trying. I need poison. Unless I don't. <laughs> Just find out more about the golf coach without the poison. I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to need his outfit. Maybe I'll tail you for a bit. Also, nobody recognizes me as the delivery boy that just walked through here. These guys are also not suspicious that a house butler, or whatever I am, is wandering around out here talking to the golf coach. They're still looking for Caruso. You're never going to find him. How do I disguise? Need to disguise myself as the golf coach. Now I think I need the poison. So now I think he's going to go back to his little loop. Yeah, drinking his little soda there. Okay, maybe the kitchen will have it. Now where where was that? Was that a fireplace? Can I blow someone up from the? Fireplace? That'd be hilarious if I could get on the ra roof and drop something in the fireplace. Why is it this hard? Tell you what, Jeeves. As 
long as Caruso treats me like a third-rate bed and breakfast cook, I'll damn well act like it. Uh, speaking of third-rate, Senor Caruso has repeatedly complained about your pasta bolognese. There it is. Oh man, I feel like an idiot again. I walked right past it. Hey, it's Roko. You've been giving Talk about Lady Isabella a special recipe. How hard can it be? Alright. Rat poison, get. Now, to poison the golf coach. And then follow him to a bathroom. And then knock him out. And then take his clothes. This is, this is sounding more complicated by the second. So I'm just gonna stand here and look suspicious and hope that nobody cares. What am I talking about? This is Hitman. Nobody cares! It's another one of the comedic aspects of this game. But yeah, I was trying to talk about reusing assets and making, you know, allocating your assets towards testing and whatnot. And as much as I love Hitman and I say it's beautifully animated, and yeah, I really do prefer playing the game. So, if it... Hopefully no one sees me. Nobody see me, nobody see me. Yay, nobody saw me. Haha, <laughs> okay. So now we're just going to wait here for that guy to come back and drink that. And I'd much rather prefer... You know, I'd much prefer to play the game. So I prefer that they spend time designing these encounters rather than making un unique items. So if you think about it, all of this is just set dressing. And very beautifully done. You know, kudos for that. But... You know, in order to make these places feel alive and to feel real, they need a lot of set dressing. So what they do, and some of these items I'm pretty sure are actually recycled even from Hitman Absolution. They may have updated some of the graphics and polygon counts, but it's... I swear to God, some of these lights, some of these plants I've seen in Hitman Absolution. Probably some of the... Um, the outfits as well, like that people are wearing. And they, they do that because... They just take the the assets and they plunk them in the game, move them around, kind of like you know in The Sims when you're making your little, little house. They move them around until they get them in the oh. right position, and then they okay. just forget about them. The oh. Okay, so then they just forget about them because the the focus of the game is not on the items themselves, but rather on the interactions. Oh, you did it, but that lime build up? Gone. <laughs> Omg, amazing. It's like a new toilet. <laughs> I don't think he was supposed to say that line. But anyway. I'm trying to disguise myself as the golf coach. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just gonna follow you into the bathroom. Hopefully no one sees me through the window. That was weird. He just did a 180. But anyway. Gotta be some place to hide the body. Looks like over there. Yeah. So all this set dressing stuff that they have is just that. It's just set dressing. They really, you know, they spend a lot of time on it, which is, it's really nice for a AAA game. Ooh, a working mirror. Fascinating. Yeah, they spend a lot of time on getting the, the feel right but the main focus of the game is not on the the furnishings or the furniture. It's on the the general just the the general feel, right? So if they can get the feel down without making it you know, without having to make each individual item and whatnot. It's it's a lot better for me as the player because it means that they can spend more time on crafting these scenarios 
And last time, I forgot to pick up his phone. And, you know, more time crafting these scenarios, and less time on just making the 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 setting. It's me. Roberto, Silvio let you off early. I want us to meet. Your room. Mm, I should say no. But you won't. <laughs> See you soon. She doesn't even notice it's not Roberto. Nicely done, 47. DeSantis will be here shortly. Alright. I suggest you get in the mood. I wish there was a fast forward button. I know why there isn't, but I kind of wish there was. Hopefully I can do this right and I don't screw up. That is Francesca DeSantis. talk just listen for a second <laughs> lucky me i like you roberto you're a lot of fun and i could even see this I, I, under the right circumstances we <laughs> the situation it's complicated you see ether the company i sorry who are you a no <laughs> Got it. Entering the so I guess I was supposed to poison that. That's okay. I got it. It's all good. Two targets down. Now destroy the virus. Okay, I'm gonna put her in here. <laughs> Roberto is going to have a bad day when he wakes up. But you know what? That's not my problem. Okay, I guess I was supposed to go out through the window. That's okay. That is okay. Because I think I have another disguise waiting just inside this door. If I remember correctly. I am the world's worst hitman, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the target looks to be directly below this car here. Which, oh, that would be hilarious if I could blow a hole through the floor and just have the car fall on the, the virus. Oh, but that would... Doesn't seem to be wanting to... They don't seem to let me do that. I don't see anything interactable on the floor here that would let me, may let me do that. But that would be hilarious if I could. Now that I got a different disguise, maybe this will work a little better? Question mark? Let's see. Think, Ferret, think! Oh, I could totally push it right now. That would be hilarious. I mean, not for you, but for me. Where were the entrances? Was there one in the church? Seem... Pink Ferret, remember all the other Let's Plays you've watched? How did people get into the basement? I don't know. I don't remember. I wasn't paying that closely of attention. Key card. Yeah, Mr. B Pardon me. Okay, now that I got a key card, maybe this will work. Wait, door was this way. 
The subtitle for this episode is Ferret is an Idiot. Because the keycard was sitting there the whole time. And that didn't even get me into the basement. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Oh, for the love of all things. Where is this... This little... Oh, my goodness. There has got to be a way to get in there. Oh. Fountain view! <laughs> That's cute. Totally not Mountain Dew. I'm gonna have to cut out like half of my recording epi recorded episode here. Because I can't frickin' find the entrance. Forget the highlights reel for this game. It's gonna be more like a bloopers reel. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a break here. And I'm gonna come back to this game later. Because I'm tired, I'm frustrated, and this is not gonna be fun for you guys. So, I will be right back with the rest of this episode in just a moment. Okay, and we're back. Finally found an entrance. And I want to get in there. Stay on the alert. So I am by the lighthouse or whatever that is over there. I tried going in another way, but I got stopped by security and I didn't have the right... What's it called? Disguise? And I, I didn't want to bother with finding the right disguise, so I was like... You know what, I'm just going to find another way in entirely. Um, this guy's going to see me, those guys are going to notice me. Okay. I can turn off the power. No reason to be suspicious at all. And then just walk right by those guys. Yeah. Okay. This, field this took entirely too long for me to find, but we've found it. Unit. Also, how much money does this company have that they can build this? underneath some guy's house, just because he's afraid of traveling. It's just like... Really... You're just throwing your money away, people. And I still haven't figured out how to disable the security cameras. I did pick up a crowbar! Whoop. Saving there. Hey, more rat poison. Never have enough rat poison. I did pick up a crowbar before I came down here. I found it in the garage. Um, I'm not really sure if I need it, but I thought, you know, if I got, if I got uh, desperate enough, I could bust open something. <laughs> Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. I belong here. How in the world? So she's gonna be the only one in this room that notices me for some reason.
Thunder. Please don't mind the barking dog. Okay, lady. Do not look towards me. Yes! Did they even need that key card? I don't know. Okay. No one knows who I am now. Completing this in my suit, like in the suit only challenges, that has got to be a pain. Oh, if I had an explosive, I bet I could drop an explosive in there and then blow it up. Oh, look, mice. Hello, oh, little mice. so I can destroy that. Nice. Totally wasn't me. Totally wasn't me. You saw nothing. Totally not suspicious. Why is that not destroyed yet? I have a slight mystery. Oh, wait. Why is, is that destroyed yet? Am I supposed to do something else to it? I increase the temperature. Aren't you supposed to explode? Or something? Temperature critical. Temperature critical. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Alright, I want to be out of that area, I think. There it is. Alright. Woohoo! Finally we did this. Now I need to destroy the security camera evidence. That would probably look funny if I walk out like that. Now everyone's gonna notice me if I walk out like this. Oh, the lady's right there again. Lady, turn around. Go away. Oops, she noticed me. I see your face somewhere before? Nope. I'm a fluent of your imagination. And there's an exit right over there, but I kind of want to destroy the evidence. Camera evidence. I just don't know where to do that at. supposed to go. Yeah. Alright, three hitmans. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you all.
all for watching, and I will see you all next time.